okay this will be an interesting one We're just going to close it off for 100. I did it wrong. Uh, this is the one we wanted. I think, yeah, we got that set, but we got to set up all these others. Okay, let's see what we have we have here. A mermaid doll. So this is her. She looks like a, a variant of a Barbie doll. Her head's twisted on its side. Um, there are hands. Um, whatever. Silly. I, I used to hate dolls when I was a kid. I really did. When I was a baby. Not a baby, but when I was a... Parents tried to feminize me by getting me to play with dolls my dad even bought it and built a doll house that never got used I used it for other things but it wasn't for dolls but basically I just don't never like dolls I'm I'm a person who likes to who likes uh, masculine things like like um, science and technology and all the rest of it. Uh, I've now become really uh, pleased with my... Uh, that looks really interesting. I've become really pleased with being a tomboy because one day I dream of becoming a CEO of a uh, future photocopier company and I want to build photocopiers that are real industrial strength that are going to last for decades, like 60 years, they're going to last. And they're going to be made out of re mostly renewable materials, like from e-waste dumps around the world, like in India and China, where e-waste gets, gets dumped all the time. And basically I want to make a difference and clean up these dumps and make the place have a place where you can drink water from a from a stream or or maybe grow vegetables uh, have livestock for these third world nations like India and China so I really want to make a difference because I'm passionate about this and I want to make a difference I don't want to be like the CEOs of today who love to profiteer and make money obscene amounts of money without using it wisely and it really hurts hurts to see so much wastage in this world of people who've got so much money but don't have any fucking common sense or decency on how to use their wealth they really don't and i want to make a difference and i want to basically um Another thing to note also is in this future photocopier factory, we're not going to have slave labour. The, the people who work in this factory, which will, be ba which will be here in Australia, not in China or Vietnam, we're paying Australian type wages, in other words, fair wages, but we're going to go a bit higher than that. I want to pay a little bit more than, than the wage that they're actually worth in Australian dollars. Uh, no slaves, no, no people being exposed to dangerous chemicals. We've got to make a difference, folks, and we've got to make... 
I just struggle to understand how big companies just don't care. They don't have any fucking scruples. They really don't. They don't care that they're polluting our planet or they're hurting a fellow human being with their bullshit. I really don't understand it, folks. I don't. I don't get it, but I'm going to try my best to make a difference. And also, I don't just want to be a CEO. I want to be a scientist. I want to find a solution to climate change. I want to find a solution for nuclear waste uh, places like Chernobyl and, and Fukushima. I want to be able to clean those places up. Now that looks a bit boring. I want to be able to clean those places up and make them in, make them use, useful again so people can can live and work and play in places that were once contaminated with nuclear shit. So I really want to make a difference. And yeah, so and I'll probably I'll, I'll be donating I'll be, of all the money that I earn as a CEO, I plan on, on uh, how should I put it? Uh, now I've got my knickers in a tangle here. I want to give 95% of my earnings as a CEO away for science and good other good causes, you know, humanitarian. You know, you've you got to use your passion and you've got to use your money. You can't just, you can't, Treat them with like trifle. This is a difficult one. These dolls are really difficult to work with, to be honest, folks. Yeah, that looks interesting. The hair looks good. Uh, but basically, yeah, I just want to somehow make a difference and... Yeah. I just don't understand how people can be so selfish and uh, not wanting to help improve things for other people as well as themselves. I don't know how this is going to look. Yeah, that looks interesting, but she's further out of the frame. Um, I don't know how I'm going to make this look any good. Wondering if we're just going to en enlarge maybe the head of this doll. Maybe just enlarge her head. Um, put the hair in there and maybe make this one a 400% job. Anyway, that looks really quite nice, that part. Her head being there in the picture. Uh, wondering. Maybe I just have to push it further in towards the uh, inside. But I'm really missing a loved one, folks. And I'm trying to get this stuff to go to air on television news on the news channels well most tv channels have the news haha ha. i'm really trying to get this stuff to go to air even though we've got covid19 all over all over the place uh, we do need something that's different something that's a change from the ordinary and that looks really nice i think we can use that but basically, we, we, I want to get this stuff on the air because for me to make that future come true with Luigi, I have to have Luigi, that's right. For my future to come true, for me to become CEO and scientist, uh, wanting to change the world and improve it, 
You know, I have to start with going on air, on television, so that people can know, and that's so I can get in touch with my partner, Luigi. On my own, I can't be a scientist or a CEO. I've got disabilities. My brain was damaged at birth. I had a cord around my neck, and I came out feet first, so it was like I was hung at birth from my mum. And basically, I have reason to believe that the hippocampus and the short-term memory have been severely damaged, which means I can't learn, I can't do anything like that. I can't become a scientist or even a CEO because of the brain damage. And basically, I'm trying to use the talent I have here to overcome the difficulties that my disability has, has given me. So I'm trying my best as a person with disabilities uh, to do this properly. So let's see how this comes out. But it's an interesting piece we've made. Uh, this is the first time I've done a doll like this, in this kind of fashion. And this is like a model. This is a classic model pose, you could say. Portrait. The hair looks really nice. Um, I'm just going to put it all together, folks. So we're just going to make this into an interesting piece. But they'll have technology to fix the broken parts of my brain, and that's when I'm going to get, going to be free to be, well, you could say free to be me in such a big way. But that looks really quite interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.